Today I'm interviewing a good friend of mine by name, Tom Murky. Tom is a repurposed fireman. He retired being a fireman outside of Denver. He's an unbelievable friend, unbelievable entrepreneur, and he has so many great things cooking. So join this interview now and let me know what you think at the end. Good, good. I'm really excited to have you here, Tom. I know my, my fans are too, because it's uh, you have a lot in you have a lot of entrepreneurship that you've gone through. Absolutely. And uh, it's we met in I want to, was it Invisible Empire or was it the group or? Yep, it was an Invisible Empire. Right. Um, and the reason we become friends is because we have this little pedigree back there. We're both Irish, so it's easy to start. <laughs> Isn't everyone? <laughs> they should be. If you aren't, you might want to try it for at least a little bit. <laughs> well, like, besides St. Patty's Day, right? It's like. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So you've been an entrepreneur forever, it seems like. Not ever, but your background is you're a firefighter. You're a retired firefighter. A repurposed firefighter, yes. What do you mean by repurposed? Just that. I I repurposed myself at 54 from the fire service so that I could live to be 94. Oh, good for you. And and be happy and healthy and vibrant and doing what I want to do. So the, the fire service was a little boy's dream. Okay, I grew up about eight miles from a Mack truck plant. And we, as young boys, used to pedal our bikes to the Mack truck plant on Saturday and crawl under the fence and then get on all the, the whatever they were building. And my, my one friend's grandpa was the, was the watchman there on the weekends. So he, you know, as long as you didn't break anything, boys, life was good. And, you know, just come in through here. And, you know, so, so that was... I, I got to live a little boy's dream oh, and cool. I, I loved it and had a blast. But round about the time I was 45, 46, uh, my body was changing and I was not able to recover from fire scenes and different things that we would have to do as a firefighter. So I started looking online for how to create your own business because I wanted to do wow. something else. And then 2008 hit and, you know, the economy tanked and I was like, holy crap, I'm almost 50 and <laughs> I just lost over a third of my pension. <clears throat> I can't make this up. I mean, what do you call a 62 year old professional firefighter? Dead. Right. Just because by that time it really takes a toll unless oh you're in an administrative position. But, but yeah, so I, I decided then I would leave by the time I was 55. And so I went online and actually MLSP, um, I went to a T. Harv Ecker uh, three-day seminar down in Denver. I live in Colorado. So I went, I went to see T. Harv and I commuted back and forth because I was too frugal. The, the Pennsylvania Dutch Irishman that I am <laughs> wouldn't allow me to spend 150 bucks a night was was where my mind was at the time. Right. You know, it was a cost. It was an invest. It was not an investment in myself yet. So, um, but T. Harv that weekend, I, I met some folks, and uh, uh, one gentleman uh, by the name of Adam Chandler introduced me to MLSP, and man, it 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 blew me away because of the tech orientedness of it. But the people that I met at that time are still friends of mine 10 years later, 11 years later. Adam Chandler. I'm a friend of Adam Chandler. Excuse me. Yeah. yeah. So, and, and, you know, Adam and I hung out a lot um, in the, uh, right around the, the, the early 2000s. And uh, we had a whole lot of fun. And, and he taught me, he taught me a lot about a lot of different things. So, you're never too old to learn new things, even if it does take time. I mean, the technology of, of it freaked me out in having to write emails. And I mean, things are so much easier now. They um, are. So, but back then it was, it, it really, it, it, it shook my foundation um, is what it did, but it was the best thing that could happen to me. 
a little while. So after M MLSP, where did you go? Are you still in MLSP or? I am not. No, 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 no. I am. Um, uh, from there, I I did a couple of MLMs, and um, I, I like the products, I like the services, I like the people. Um, comp plans changed, and I went. You know, I don't think I want to do MLMs anymore. Um, that I learned a lot in that process, and I. The, the time, energy, and effort that I spent in it, I felt it, it, my hourly value was higher than what I was putting into that three and four years later. But what I learned in the process was beautiful because right. everything is, you know, it, it's a long-term deal. I'm going to do this till the day I die. Um, <laughs> That's 92, right? That, well, at, at least, you know, at 93, my kids can take my bicycle from me, but they have to replace it with a tricycle. So, um, but you got to have fun in the process of everything you do. Every day is a blessing. Every day is a joy. I'll be 60 here in a couple weeks. So I'm really looking forward to that. We're trying to figure out, um, can we get to Mexico? Can we get to Hawaii? What do we have to do with all the COVID ramifications and rules and regulations. So, so, um, so from MLMs, I, I got into affiliate marketing. Um, in the process of when, when I was with MLSP, I went to a live event where I was now investing in myself. Um, and you know, whenever you go to live events and actually get to see and meet people and such, um, it's a wonderful thing because that that synergy, that mindfulness, that, that mastermind um, really stimulates light bulbs going off and, Ooh, he's doing this. And how does he do it? And what, you know, how does he say what he say? And what is, his, you know, those type of things. Right. Um, at that MLSP event, uh, Mark Hoverson was one of the keynote speakers and he spoke about Solomon CEO, which okay. Uh, Mark, Mark was a youth minister for several years, and um, he, he was big into Solomon and big into Proverbs back from his teenage days. He's a North Dakota farm kid. Right. And so they go to church, so they, they spent a summer jumping in, into Proverbs. And what Mark did, I mean, the man was a genius, teaching genius, um, but he took those proverbs and he brought them into today's entrepreneurship and uh, Mark passed on a couple years ago to pancreatic cancer and uh, which is evil evil an evil cancer but um, he, he was to to when he was diagnosed with it doctors said he had two months to live and he lived almost six years from that diagnosis so but uh, back to Solomon CEO, uh, that absolutely changed my life because it gave me possibility. It gave me hopes. It gave, it taught me how to dream again. And oh, cool. when you, when you can get into your imagination and your creativity on a daily basis, magic happens because the transformation in you from lessons like Solomon CEO gives you the possibility of going, Hmm, that's the way I want to go about this. So I, I did the affiliate thing. I'm, I'm still an affiliate with the Hoversons and um, I'm now creating my own stuff because that's the next step. And you know, right now I'm in the legacy phase. I, like you said, our Irish heritage, I am a leprechaun warrior. And, and, and with that, I, I mean, you can be whoever you want to be. But as a leprechaun warrior, I can get into that creativity without having to ask anyone permission to do it. It is for me, okay? It becomes my meditation. My bicycle ride, I, I exercise every day at least an hour. My bicycle ride is not a bicycle ride. It is a meditation. It's your meditation. I knew that was coming. I got your meditation. And you're feeding that into me. I could tell it. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. But the beauty of that is, is you get into a bo your body, mind, and spirit. When you get congruent in those three phases, and it's easy to do, you start with your breathing. 
and it's easy to do and you, you love it. And the next thing you know, you've gone eight miles, but what you've processed in those eight miles you couldn't get sitting in your desk slashing through Facebook. No, oh, okay. I totally agree. You, you, the mind is a terrible master, but it is an excellent servant. Okay. So on my bicycle meditations, I take one of these with me. Okay. And it's my INC. It's my imagination and creativity. And this is a 97 cent notebook from Costco or Kmart or Walmart or wherever I, my wife gets it. But when things come into your mind while you are meditating, stop and take the time to jot it down. Word segments. Okay. And date it. And then when it comes back up again, you can relate back to it on the 20th of July, 2020. Okay. I have 50 of these. <laughs> that I scribble in all the time. And some, some come to fruition, some do not yet. But when you do this, you clear your mind of the clutter. Okay, we, 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 our mind gives us 60 to 90,000 bits of information a day. All right. 80% of those are the same damn thing from yesterday, Mark. <laughs> so... Hey. So you got to release that crap. Okay. You got to bring new into it. You got to release the old stuff in order for new to come to you. Okay. I am a work in progress. I am also the most limber 75 year old man you're ever going to meet. Okay. You must future pace yourself. You must have things to look forward to when you wake up every morning, your love of life, your love of the water, your love of your family gets you up every day, every day. And, and, and you can feel it when you speak of it. Okay. Even in this crazy internet world, we still are 75% nonverbal communication. We are electric. What aura, what do you put off that you give to others before they even meet you? When somebody walks into a room, we all have preconceived notions of that person. Sure. We've been conditioned to do that. Okay. So why not lead that off with a smile? Why not lead that off with a wave? Why not lead that off with your whole body smiling? Because you got a 20 mile meditation in on your bicycle four hours prior. And all you want to do is drink as much water as you can because your ass is dragging. <laughs> But your spirit is intact and giving to others. One thing I do every day is I meet three people every day that I, that I haven't ever met before. Seriously? You know, I give them a smile. I give them a hello. How are you? And I actually listen in the moment. Now, that's rare because a lot of people don't listen in the moment. I, a lot of people don't listen at all. Most people, what I should be thinking about is, after the next, as you speak, I want to put my two cents in. I don't listen with the intent to understand. Right. That is one of the greatest skill sets a person can have. Because six months from now, Mark, you're not going to remember what we said. But you will remember how I made you feel. Oh, absolutely. And, you and are I, a rock star. I just love what you come out with. <laughs> Well, it, it be who you are because those that mind don't matter and those that matter don't mind. That's from my favorite doctor, Dr. Seuss. <laughs> I would, you had me thinking, doctor, what? Uh, right. Well, guess what? Which book should I have read? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. And, and that's the thing. You be who you are. Okay. Be comfortable within yourself so that you can spread that joy. It's, I fill my chalice up every morning by moving when I wake up. I have several rituals every day when I get up. Okay. But the first thing is to love myself. I fill up my own chalice so I can give you the overflow. Okay. Because if I don't fill mine up first, guess what? <laughs> Nobody else gets it. Hey, Mako, how are you? <laughs> yeah. I just heard my neighbor open the door, so he's moving. 
<laughs> but 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 really it, you know how easy do you want to make it to go around with the weight of the world on your shoulders um i i can't do it anymore you know as a firefighter we responded to situations we had no control over what we were going to we went to mitigate a situation right my level of stress that cortisol was elevated and i didn't realize it because i was living it i lived it over 25 years okay when i repurposed myself when i said on october 5th it's time to fly man i love this i thank you very much for everything the lessons you've given me da 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 da, -da. it's time to go it wasn't until january okay so 90 days later that I woke up one day and I went, man, I feel pretty good. That, that chronic thing in my neck and my low back. Oh, that's awesome. It, it's gone, but it was my cortisol levels. They finally got down low enough. I understand it's scientifically now, uh -huh. but emotionally I was there. I was Pavlov's dog. I responded to bells. I jumped in the fire engine and took off to wherever when a bell went off. And that hearing that the tones in the station all day long, 24 seven, it, it, it raises that level. So <laughs> it, I am a much happier, well-balanced leprechaun warrior now than I was then. <laughs> well, I didn't know you then, but I, I know watching your lives that you, you, you have so much energy. Absolutely. Right? and you're trying to teach people that is really cool. You had mentioned you're creating, are you creating any products now or courses or? Yes, cool. yes I am. And I'm getting some certification so people can say, you're just full of shit. And I said, yeah, I am, but I, I've done this and it backs it up. You know? um, but, but yes, I am. And that's, you know, Wayne Gretzky, you don't go where the puck has been, you go to where the puck is going, okay? With all of these changes, I mean, how, how have people invested in themselves during this virus, pandemic, COVID, ba -da -ba -da, whatever this has become? If you'd have told me a year and a half ago, Mark, that we'd all be walking around with masks and going into banks with masks and having to go against who we are as people, as pack animals, as the need to be touched, right and social i mean all of that if you'd have told me that 18 months ago that this is our reality i'd have gone i'm sorry but we have to drink a few more beers before i'm gonna get to believe it you know um so that being said um my beautiful bride uh, and i were in nuevo vallarta and came back to this pandemic Okay, we came back on March 15th or 13th or whatever it was. But the understanding is now we have new rules to play by. Right. And how do we connect with people when what we really want to do is actually, I'm a hugger and I'm, you know, my dog's really, she runs away from me now <laughs> because I'm, I'm missing out on the hugs. But how we do what we do um, amidst this is what, what do you see moving forward and how do you adapt to it? So people, you know, the, this is a relationship business technology yeah. aside, this is a relationship business. So I must adapt to that and continue to build relationships in a fashion that people are looking for right now, because people don't want the McMansion on the Hill People don't, you know, those, those type of things are different now. Yes. People want, people want to be reached out to. People want to be helped understand how are they going to survive. How, and, and people are looking at survival now and not thriving. Right. Which to me is a mindset unto itself. But we, we, I've already talked too long here. Um, oh, you but, uh, okay, <laughs> well. I, I want to try to keep within a, the 20 minute frame you gave me. Um, but you must understand how, how can you touch someone? 
You can touch them by smiling. You can touch them by listening with the intent to understand. You can touch them by caring, by saying, Joe, how are you today? And just stop. Get two me. seconds, wait for them to speak, listen right. some more. Inter I mean, you know, so, so that's, that's the kind of thing, but I'm a big mindset guy because you can, you know, you're needed. Oh, absolutely. You absolutely. Are. I am required. You know, really yeah. people don't need anything. What they already have is in within them. Mm -hmm. But there's so many different, I mean, we are such a complex organism that it takes others to recognize the greatness in you that you don't see because of your daily habits, because of how you go. It, realize that 80% of, of us go through the day 95% subconsciously because we are rote, we, rote, R-O-T-E, by habit, okay? We do things the same way and we don't even realize that we're doing it because right. of it being that habit. So if you're left-handed, brush your teeth with your right hand when you wake up in the morning. If you lead with your left foot, lead with your right foot. Make your brain consciously. You must get out of that unconsciousness into becoming conscious with your daily movements and your daily maneuvers. And oh, by the way, it's 8.05. Oh, I didn't have my coffee yet. Okay, now wait till 10 o'clock and have your coffee and understand what happened between 8 and 10. Okay, recognize who you are. What are your best three times of the day? When are you most productive? Dude, you get up at four in the morning. <laughs> I do. That's my best time. It really is. It's uh, And then I go walking like at 610 when, as soon as the sun rises up because I get to see that sun coming up over the lake. That's my best time. It's like, uh, that's my piece. Now, I don't go for 20, 20 miles on a bike, but I go a two-mile walk. Absolutely. And that, that is better for you than a 20 mile bike ride would be. Okay. I swim now. I've, I've swum for the last five years, two days a week. Good. For you. And they finally opened up the rec center again. Yes. So I, I don't know if I have to get on a bended knee to my governor now or what I got to do, but, um, but to swim, it's the same thing. People laugh at me when I'm in the pool because I wear a snorkel. Okay. I am a moving manatee, Mark. <laughs> I, I am not a good swimmer at all, but that mechanism, that snorkel, guess what? I stick my head in that water and I go 10 laps down and back. Oh, okay. good for you. And, but it becomes a meditation again. Sure. Okay. And, it's by, and now when I'm moving and I, I do four or five different strokes, you know, Nothing fancy, nice and easy, but I'm feeling every muscle in my body. So, so if, great exercise. If, if, if my right quad hurts, guess what? It's probably my hip where the trouble is, okay? It, it's a referred pain. So I might have to stretch my hamstring out a little bit if my quad is sore, mm -hmm. okay? I mean, every you just break it down and, and you understand it is the way my brain works. And then you get to move forward. Um, but, but body movement and time of day and when are you most productive is a huge component to being an entrepreneur. Yes. Because you can't fight yourself. You must get into the groove. You must get into, okay, Go, go to Ace Hardware and get a $5 kitchen timer and take that with you every, everywhere you go for a week and set it for 30 minutes, 45 minutes, whatever you want to set it to. But then you go back to the last time it went off and what have you done in that process? What have you done in that time frame? Oh, interesting. And then log it, write it down. And then now, after doing this for a week, you can start to pattern more about who you are physically. 
When do you use the restroom? When do you get hungry? And so much of it starts with your rest. What do you do the hour before you go to bed at night? Because that, if you get rest, and I know I, I didn't have rest. I, I lived on a 12-hour cycle where for every 12 hours, if I got 45 minutes rest, I was good for the next 12 hours. And I'm here to tell you, that's no way to live. That is not a way to live. <laughs> so, so get a timer and start understanding better who you are so that you can segment yourself into your best self throughout the day. Um, it is really the way, and it, it goes back to the mind is a terrible master, but an excellent servant. So you control your mind just like, this is great for Facebook. I know, I said, I've seen you with that before on your I Facebook it, lives. <laughs> I said it for 13 minutes, okay? And I get my ass off of Facebook within 13 minutes. Really? Because I found myself mindlessly scrolling, I must have needed a dopamine fix. I'm scrolling and it's 32 minutes later and I'm like, crap, I got other stuff to do. Yes. So Social media is terrible that way. Facebook, I'm the same way. I start running into things on there and I'm reading and I go, what the heck, I got to get off this. Right. But it's Facebook is designed to do that. Mm -hmm. And this has taken over parts of our lives that we no longer do. And I'm not going to get into that, but I hear you. Wonderful. Technology is awesome, but it can be evil if it's controlling you. Right. Um, so, so what else, Mark? I, I, I got about four more minutes here, my friend. I could talk to you for hours. Well, we're going to, we're going to do this again. Okay. If you have a Facebook group right now. Yes. Because right? yep. I know you're going to make up courses and I, I was trying to get you to say something, but you didn't say it. So when your course comes out, I'm gonna, we're going to get back together so we can talk about it. Absolutely. Um, but right now I know you're doing, you have 650 members and it's growing and you teach things on there. Every, you're live every day, aren't you? Well, I'm, I'm live on Mondays. I do a training at seven o'clock Eastern time okay. on, on Monday. And I, I keep that to 25 minutes and then we'll go for a little over time if folks have questions. And then Wednesday morning, I do what I call a Wednesday's wisdom, where I pull somebody from the group and interview them just like we're doing now. Yeah. And so then I post that. And then uh, I found out that people really don't read. Very few people read. And we used to do a book of the month club on Thursdays. But now what I'm doing is I'm, I'm digging deeper from the training we do Monday. I do a little more a deep training with it on Thursday. Cool. And then, but that's, that's really what, um, what I do live. And I, you know, I probably should put uh, more pictures and quotes oh. and stuff like that in it. But really, I'm, I'm right now, my head is down as I am creating this new product and service and uh, i'm really excited about it but uh, i'm not ready to throw it out there just yet so right. but you know back to being overwhelmed and intimidated by mlsp at the beginning what i learned was i i got a skill set for specific things and i'm good at it but mm -hmm. there's other things i'm not but some of my favorite people are genius in those other realms that I'm not good at. All right. So I delegate it. What, what is your value per hour is what I'm going to leave with today. It, it's not that you make 25 59 as a firefighter. Okay. Your value per hour is the, the value you put on who you are and how much you're worth. Okay. I'm worth $371 and 93 cents an hour. I think you're worth more than that. Oh, absolutely. But I, I must be humble here because, you know, because I'm wearing a picture of a, of a bicycle on my shirt. So <clears throat> beware of those guys. Um, they might not be wearing socks. So what that intrinsic value that you put upon yourself, don't spend 15 hours thinking you have to learn everything about everything delegate that 
to yeah. other people that you know, you like, you trust, because that's who we do business with. But don't be afraid that me spending that 350 bucks to get this done would have taken me a thousand dollars worth of my time, energy, and effort, yet alone anguish and anxiety <laughs> about right. doing it. You know, so control it um, or focus on giving it to someone else. Will they do it just the way you will? No. But if you like to mow your own lawn, block that hour a time a week to mow your own lawn. But if you don't, give another small businessman 30 bucks a week or 150 bucks a month or whatever and speak to him in such a fashion that you let him know you appreciate his work and watch how much better he does it than you could. Now, can your ego accept that? <laughs> maybe, maybe not, but, but try that. Give that a six month test. And now the time that you're not spending doing something else that is not serving you at that $397 an hour level, just see what else comes to fruition with that attitude. Oh, I love it. Because helping others, if we're, learning, if we're learning nothing else here and now with this COVID stuff is think locally, improve your 15 mile radius around your house. Who creates the food? Where do you go to shop? How do you go to shop? those type of things there's folks struggling right now and there's uh, folks that are barely making it paycheck to paycheck empower them. embrace them let them know they matter let them know you care better things will come because of it oh i, I that is such great advice i appreciate that big time tom can i send people to your facebook group absolutely Absolutely. I'll, I'll shoot you a link. It's the adventurous entrepreneurs um, is what we're called. And it's free. I do the free Monday, we do the Wednesday and then, and then Thursday night too. So um, even if you don't have a, a entrepreneur career yet, um, if you're still in a, in a job, good, don't quit the job. Come on in and let, let us help you um, help yourself create something new. It, it, it's so well worth it. Um, and if you haven't seen that on your income taxes in the last two years, like him or don't like him, but President Trump gave us some wonderful opportunities as small business owners right. or as individual business owners all over an employee. Most employees don't even know that their taxes are removed before they receive their wages. All right. So easy stuff. Yeah, it is. Tom, I appreciate it big time. <laughs> this we're gonna do this again when you, I, when you get your product done. I, I'm excited about it because I know how much you're putting into it. And uh, peace out, brother. Absolutely, man. It's been my pleasure, and uh, thank you very much. And I'll get you that link. All right. Thanks. Take you care. Bet. Bye. Bye. Bye, -bye. Wasn't that a great interview? Tom is, has so much in him and he wants to give so much. What I would do is get involved in his group. It's facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash T-A-E groups. And I'll put that link in the description. I'd love it if you go subscribe to my podcast. And also, if you just give me a review. Peace out. You take care.